groceries can take a huge bite out of a budget. According to the most recent report from the BLS, the average American household spent around $4,000 on food in 2014. You want to cut those costs? Well, you probably already know about things like buying on sale and using coupons, hopefully also things like using a list. So what else is there? What else can you do? First, the whole truth. Whole chickens are cheaper than cut up. Whole fruit is cheaper than pre-sliced. Block cheese is cheaper than grated. Don't pay someone to do your slicing for you. Next, generics and store brands. That's a simple way to save 20 to 50% on stuff that's sometimes identical. Worried about quality? Many stores offer a money-back guarantee on their house products, so if you don't like it, take it back. Another thing that really matters is where you shop. Sure, you know about warehouse stores, but what about farmer's markets, food co-ops, buying clubs? What about local places? They can often get you screaming deals on things like organics. Another great place to save? Salvage grocery stores. This is where you'll find dented cans, torn packaging, closeouts. You get the picture. It's not pretty, but it's cheap, up to 50% off. My, my cupboard feet stays all dented and smashed from one side to the other, but I save a lot of money. The food tastes the same. Finally, take care of the food you do buy. Buttering cheese prevents mold. Transfer small amounts of perishables like sour cream into smaller containers. Store things airtight. Freeze things before they go bad. Bottom line, if you want to squash your grocery bill, there are lots of ways to do it. Now what you need is more details. I've got lists of food co-ops and salvage grocery stores waiting for you at moneytalksnews.com. Just do a search for saving on groceries. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson.